arms supplier to Israel. Biden took the rare step earlier this year of pausing the transfer of certain munitions it deemed inappropriate for warfare in the densely populated Gaza Strip. Netanyahu meets with Vice President and Democratic candidate Kamala Harris, and then on Friday travels to Florida to meet Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump. So I just had a frank and constructive meeting with Prime Minister Netanyahu. I told him that I will always ensure that Israel is able to defend itself, including from Iran and Iran-backed militias such as Hamas and Hezbollah. I also expressed with the Prime Minister my serious concern about the scale of human suffering in Gaza, including the death of far too many innocent civilians. And I made clear my serious concern about the dire humanitarian situation there, with over two million people facing high levels of food insecurity, and half a million people facing catastrophic levels of acute food insecurity. What has happened in Gaza over the past nine months is devastating. The images of dead children and desperate, hungry people fleeing for safety, sometimes displaced for the second, third, or fourth time. We cannot look away in the face of these tragedies. We cannot allow ourselves to become numb to the suffering and I will not be silent. It is time for this war to end, and end in a way where Israel is secure, all the hostages are released, the suffering of Palestinians in Gaza ends, and the Palestinian people can exercise their right to freedom, dignity, and self-determination. Now, the Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is facing her biggest crisis in years. This after the violent student protests against a job quota in the civil service. World 360 will be telling you all about it, but after a quick break.